Hi, Mr. Bloxham from Bay House School here. I'm just going to show some year seven pupils how to make some raspberry buns. Um, normally made with um, raspberry jam, I'm going to use strawberry jam today, so it's actually going to be called strawberry buns. Um, very similar to scones. I'm going to rub it together in here. I've got 200 grams of self-raising flour, um, 50 grams of butter or marge, 50 grams of sugar. I'm also going to add some egg and milk, one egg, and about 50 to 60 millilitres of milk, which will be about four tablespoons. Uh, it needs to be a little bit stickier than scones, um, so they look a bit stickier. And then I'm going to put a dob of um, raspberry or strawberry jam in them. I've greased the tray and I put the oven on roughly 200 degrees, which is about gas mark five. Okay, so I've rubbed it together. Once it looks like breadcrumbs, this is one of the four methods of cake making, which is called the rubbing in method. Scones and short crust pastry will be made with this. Then I'm going to add all this mixture here. Um, I'm going to save a tiny bit. Then I can either mix it up with my spoon or you can mix it up with your hand. Um, I would normally mix it up with my hand, so I'm going to mix it up with my hand today, but some people don't like getting their hand dirty. This needs a tiny bit more, so I've got a little bit more mixture here. I'm going to put a tiny bit of this mixture in here. Okay. I do want it a little bit more sticky than scones. This is the same recipe as rock cakes. Obviously with the rock cakes, all I would do is add sultanas or mixed fruit and some mixed spice to make rock cakes. Okay. These are a bit like, look, look a little bit like jammy dodgers or a bit like sort of, sort of jam donuts in a way. So this is a dough. Now this would not normally make between about six and eight. So I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do six today, but it could make eight. Um, on this tray here, I think it will fit oh. on quite, quite easy. Yeah, it will fit on quite easy. Yeah. Um, if I have to stop this film for somebody in a minute, I'm going to get really cross. So hopefully we won't need to. Yeah. Um, so there's one thing here. I've got six equal portions. Some people do them into an actual ball. Yeah. First, I'm going to do some into a ball and some not, actually, to show you some different ways to do that. Right, so the next thing we need to do is get some jam. I'm going to wash my hands first so I don't get all jam all over the... Get all jam all over, over the... Over the jar. Okay, then I'll get a teaspoon. I can push a hole in with my thumb on these three here. The, the other three I'm going to do slightly different. So I'm going to do one here, one here. Now some people dip it in some egg white and dip it in some sugar. So you can dip it, I'm just going to get some sugar. Um, some sugar here. So I'm going to dip a couple of them in some sugar first. So in here, we dip it in the egg, normally egg white or milk or, or just the whole egg and then dip it in the sugar. And it will give it a, like a bit of a glazed topping. Uh, so dip it in the egg. Dip it in the sugar, and then these ones are going to have some strawberry on top. Now some people make them and they actually put the strawberry in the middle of it, right? Now if you're going to put it in the middle of it, right, we're going to make a hole in it. Right, push it round, and it'll be like a bit, as somebody else thinks it was a bit like a jam donut. The only trouble with this, it quite often leaks, right? I am going to just dip it in the sugar so it's thing on top. Uh, next week, when the pupils make them, we'll probably just make them this way. Uh, if you put too much jam off, it runs off as well, which isn't very good either. Right. So put it in like that, seal it up a little bit if we best we can. And however well you seal it, sometimes it runs out. So we'll seal it. So dip that one in the sugar. And then they're done. And then we just put them in the oven until they're golden brown. Okay, um, that's thank you from Bay House School. Okay, well done for keeping.